Hi everybody, I'm Carl and welcome to NAC 3D Designs. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and wire up the stepper motor for our Z-axis. Now before we get started, I just wanted to mention that we recently added a link in the description for t-shirts. I'm wearing one of them now. We've got our NAG 3D Designs White Knight. Check your Infinite Z. You can get it with the cool cartoon on the front or on the back, depending on which you choose. Anyway, enough of my shameless plugs. Let's get started. Alright, for this segment, we're going to go ahead and wire up the connector for our Z-axis stepper for the rollers. Again, you're going to need your original cable, and you'll need the cover to help you line up where this wiring is going to go. And that's pretty much it, other than you know, the standard solder, heat shrink, that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're just going to real quick cut off the connector that we need. Alright, the reason I've got the cover over here is we need to figure out how we're going to run this wire. The green, blue, purple, and gray wire is for our Z-axis stepper. What you want to do is you want to tuck it the full length of this. And we're going to bring it down to roughly where this opening is. So we set this in place like this. And we go, okay. Right there is where it needs to be. That's where it's going to come out through this notch right here. Now we just need to figure out where we're gonna how we're gonna splice this. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the stepper here loosely. Like so. I need to check one other thing. Gray goes to black. So unfortunately, this wire is upside down from the way we need it. Twist it. Make sure it's still in the right spot. This still looks pretty close. I do that because I want to be able to taper these wires off to an angle, so I'm going to cut them like this. Connection right here in the middle. Cut these like this. strip these wires and get them ready to be soldered up. So I said gray goes to black. God gone it, I did it again. You guys gotta stop me from soldering stuff before I've got heat shrink on. For anybody wondering why I seem like I'm kind of rushing through this build and I keep missing steps, so you guys can understand, today is March 8th. I am 21 days away from Murph, and I still don't have this one put together. Okay, the purple one goes to the red wire. The 
Mueller goes to the blue. And blue goes to green, obviously. This wire will sit in the channel like this. All we need to do now is take some wrap and wrap these nice and neat. I'm actually leaving those two separate wires running into there. We need a couple inches. See how it's going to look. Basically, how the wiring will go. Now, we will go ahead and use the three wire to two wire adapter out of our nut to a fan box and we'll splice it into, I believe. This one here is our power for our fans that are gonna mount in our bottom cover. We'll split that off and run one more feed over to here. And all this will tuck nice and neat. Down in the tray before we close it all up. Just like that. All right, so that wraps up today's episode. Now, when y'all get ready to start building your white knights, remember, there is an affiliate link in the description below for Printed Solid. There is also an Amazon wish list, a PayPal me link if you want to help support the channel, and there's also a link for these cool new t-shirts through Teespring in the description as well. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.